Hello everyone and welcome back to another Roblox Studio video. And today we're going to be learning how to turn on off collide with parts. So basically if you get, if I go into the, my, the game really quick <clears throat> and I look like I collide with this part like like it's pretty easy to tell, but that's not what I'm talking I'm ta ca talking about the part colliding with another part. So let me go ahead, ahead and add a part into here. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and try to put it under the ground. It just doesn't go in the middle. Like I'm pulling down, like, like pull it down. Like I can't pull it down, but I can pull it up. That's because there is a part right here. So if I were to remove base plate and do this then I can go here and move it but now if I bring back base plate I just can't it's not allowing me to but if I go all the way under the part then it's fine and I'll even make a wall so let me go ahead and make a wall with this see I can't even do that it's hard I can't move it because of collisions. Now, if I move this up, and I move it all the way down, and I do this, and I do this, and I go up there. Now, we're going to anchor that. I'm going to go ahead and grab a new part. Don't tell me that's on the top of there. It's on the top of there. Anyways, we're going to bring this down. Now, if I try to move this through the wall, it doesn't just it just doesn't go smoothly like this isn't smooth like if you look like it stops there for a while and it has to go all the way on the other side now here's how you turn that off so you go up to here you have to have this thing down too you go up to here and there should be like collisions right here there's all this other stuff don't worry about it just click it it should be faded and then you'll see if it's on by if you, you click on it you click move and it, it like fades like right there right there it's sm so smooth it goes through um, super easily and yeah that is how you turn off collisions and it works with literally everything like I can see it's so like so like pretend I'm building on here and I'm building like this, like this, but I have collisions like that, and I'm like, ugh, I need to, like, if I'm trying to rotate it, let me rotate it, like, I can't rotate it, oh no. That's when collision comes in, and you can just rotate it, and you can move it back, and then there you go. Just like that. And bam, there's your wall. Hope this helped you learn how to make walls or turn off coll collisions. Um, to um, turn off player collisions, actually, let me go ahead and teach you that. Give me one second, I will be right back, but I need to, I'll show you. Wait, never mind, I can't, because I don't have two players in the studio right now. But basically you would you can insert a thing from the toolbox i i might make a thing from that like there's probably so many in the toolbox but, but you should script it so you don't get a virus on your on your roblox again but yeah hopefully <clears throat> this helped you learn how to turn off collisions a click of the a click of a button pretty easy and yeah hope you enjoyed see you in the next one